is the third day of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, and tonight you can expect Kamala Harris's running mate Tim Walls to take the stage along with other big names. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp joins us live from Chicago. And Rachel, you were on the floor just last night. What are some of the big takeaways from the convention so far? Hey, Jameson, great to hear from you. Yeah, so, so far the energy has been super high on the convention floor, but I want to real quick uh, turn my attention over to Lindsay Scott. She is the Democratic Party Chair for Crawford County. Lindsay, thank you for being here. I, we're going to hear from Governor Josh Shapiro tonight. What do you want to hear from him? Well, uh, I obviously support our governor. Um, he is such a clear and articulate speaker about not only the policies that we want to, as a general platform, put into effect, but also as an effective leader and communicator. He is great at telling people ultimately what it is that our mission is meant to achieve, and that is to make things better for everyday people and to retain voting rights and the rights to our own bodies, uh, you know, freedom of health care for women especially in the state of Pennsylvania is super important. and. Uh, the rest of the nation should be able to attain those things. All right. Lindsay, one last thought. We have sure. about 20 seconds left. Uh, what are some big takeaways? What are you most excited for the rest of this DNC? I mean, I think so far it's been, um, I was unsure how we were gonna come up with uh, more speakers and one up ourselves from Monday, yesterday. And uh, so so now I'm just ecstatic to see what else they have to because they have the they have an uphill battle to fight themselves. Because I I mean it was a dance party last night, especially in Pennsylvania and Georgia. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know I, I I don't know what else other stops they could probably pull out of their hats here. Yeah. Like it's wild. Pencil yeah, there is definitely uh, some Pennsylvania is a battleground state. We're also seeing some maybe dance battles as well on the floor last it might night. Might be happening. Uh, <laughs> well, Lizzie, thank you for joining us.